Hey to all you lovely people out there, today I'm telling you the top five words that should be deleted from your novel and I'm giving you examples from my recent book, The Group. Let's go. Before we get to those top five words, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content just like this. I'm Octavia D. Mason giving practical writing tips to beginner writers, book talks to book readers, and vlogs to both. As writers, we can sometimes get so involved in the story that we forget to avoid filler words. Now these words are words that cause us the readers to stop and pause, words that make the story clunky. Now this is a disclaimer. These words that I'm about to mention aren't bad for your novel, but sometimes they are overused and it causes the story to stop flowing properly. The first word or words you want to delete is really and very. These two words are not needed for the flow of the story, but if you do need an adjective, a word that is used to describe a particular quality of another word, then you can find a different word that helps the story flow or you can simply rephrase the sentence. Example, I sure hope whatever he is really up to that he is being safe. I will not come to bail him out tonight. I can't enable him any longer. I hope Joshua with whatever he does tonight is as safe as possible because I won't come to bail him out. In this example, I not only took out the filler word, but I rephrased the sentence. The second word or words you'll want to delete from your novel is down and up. These words aren't necessary to describe the action and the movement of a character and they do not affect how the story is read. Example, I elbow him hard in the side. In return, he gawks down at me like a sad pit bull. As soon as my name flies from his mouth and reaches the stranger's ears, I shove my elbow into Joshua's side. In return, he gawks at me with red rimmed eyes of a sad pit bull. Why do you hit me? In this example, the filler word was taken out, but the action and movement remained the same. The third word you'll want to delete from your story is that. Often this word doesn't add any value and can be removed from the story without affecting it. For example, where you're going might be a little safer, but you still have some folks that are not caught up to the time. Where you're going might be a little safer, but you still have some folks who aren't caught up to the time. In this example, the filler word that was replaced with the word who, which in return puts more emphasis on the people discussed in the sentence. The fourth word you'll want to delete is the word just. And just like the word that, this word doesn't add any value to the sentence and for the most part it can be removed. For example, although pretty boy held his walking stick at arm's length, he still managed to walk with mind-numbing grace, astounding me just as much as the street did. Although Pretty Boy holds his walking stick at arm's length, he manages to walk with mind-numbing grace. It astounds me as much as the street does. In this example, you see how taking out the word just does not take out the meaning or change the meaning of the sentence in any form or fashion. The fifth word or words you should delete from your novel is totally, completely, and absolutely. These words are adverbs words that end in L-Y, and they usually are not valuable to the story, do not add any value to the story, and have a tendency of being distracting from the flow of the story. For example, my eyes narrow in confusion. I may sound completely weird or paranoid, but why do you look at me as if we have met before? My eyes narrow in confusion. I may sound weird or paranoid, but why do you look and speak to me as if you know me? In this example, the adverb completely doesn't add any value to the story, but instead makes it clunky. With all these words said, I don't want you to go back into your manuscript or your first chapter or whatever it is and erase every single word that I just mentioned. These words can be used, but with wisdom. Quick tip, if you're struggling to determine whether a word belongs or not, whether that filler word belongs or not, this is what you can do. Read the sentence out loud. 8 out of 10, this will tell you not only if that word belongs, but if your story flows. 
hey lovely people if you enjoyed this video feel free to check out all the other videos that i have on practical writing tips for beginner writers such as yourself i'm octavia d mason with tips for the writers books for the readers and vlogs for both don't forget to like comment and subscribe have a lovely day peace